monarchy is our saviour, the saviour of Venice and Spain in our darkest hour against Aragon. Welcome back to the Venice series. The war for Italy has reached a stalemate situation as Aragon has locked down the Papal States and there's nothing that I can do about it. Spain was previously blocked out of this war by a cheeky move from Gran Colombia, who kindly repaid Spain for not attempting to annex his entire country by using the truce from that war being pieced out to completely mess up Spain's entire campaign. In the last part I made the comment that I would use truce block abusing as a sort of last resort rather than a first resort. Well the Aragon player actually said in the comments that it is a sort of last resort for Aragon already when they're up against a Spain and Venice who could potentially end Aragon in one war. And that is a very fair comment. I think it's really understandable for Aragon to look for that move but it's Gran Colombia who shouldn't be able to sleep at night for doing it. The second objective for Venice was to partition the Ottoman Empire and while we can't contribute to that ourselves, our two allies, Hungary and Iraq, are doing a great job taking down the Ottomans who have fallen back for a final stand somewhere in eastern Anatolia. And of course a potential American bloodbath is raging on over in that continent. In part one we saw a huge war in Western Europe between the Big Four as I like to call them. The dual monarchy took an absolute beating in that West European war but now they're turning south to gain the support of Spain and Italy potentially in exchange for helping us against Aragon. But will there be a war in Eastern Europe after Poland, Lithuania and Muscovy carried out quite an awkward exchange of regions in Crimea? But anyway, that plotline will advance today and so will all the others in part two of the Venice series. June, June 5th. Uh, Green Force, stack the border, fund the army. It got wiped. You can mobilize. Um, maybe you should consider mobilizing. Do you have money? Is More Spain money? not joining? Why, why am I helping Venice, but not I Spain? I can't join He's because he called in Grand uh, Columbia solely. They did a fucking there. cringy move with the rules. You're winning. <laughs> I just stack wiped them. Hell yeah, king. You Don't want like me that. to focus my forces on moving into Venice itself and help there, or attack Aragon? We can't do anything here anyway because of mutual nations. Ferrara and Etruria that actually block us to get uh, into the Papal States. If you get naval supremacy, we can land around there. That's what we need. We need your navy. Oh, dude, must be PLC mm -hmm. or he didn't even pop it. Um, now we're at yet. Oh, oh Bohemia joined against oh. PLC. Scandi joined. Scandi joined. Scandi joined. joined against oh. Muscovy. But PLC yeah. is in the war. What? Everyone joined. No truces. No truces. Burgundy's happened. in the war too. Burgundy. 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 Sorry, what? The actual. Well, that's nice. How did Burgundy and Scandi join, but also Bohemia join? Oh, defensive call to arms! Oh, and this game is just chaos. Yeah, Muscovy's got 47k behind the PLC in fucking the forest, in fucking Crimea. Yeah. And the PLC's oh, attacking that. The, the PLC's attacking that forest over a river. Jeez. Uh, this is madness. I love this campaign. The so absolute far. state of Mossad Asian. Aragon is sieging down Greece. Damn. Interesting move from Crafter. He's probably gonna lose that. You're not gonna be able to run. No. Why are you running? Attack him. Why are you Should running? Join the battle. I, I will lose Please. that battle. I will lose that battle. Join the battle. You. you he's a... getting there five days before you. You have to reinforce that with your John Cena. Reinforce. Yeah. Reinforce. Ah, that's fair. Uh, Green Force, you can join. We're calling you in. Call me up. Go and get naval supremacy. Go, his main navy is okay. sitting in so fucking Venice. Now... Send it to Venice. 
They're now about. Ottomans are retreating. You only, had, retreating. you only had 30k invading him? He's fucking I'm gonna, gonna get outnumber there first. you. This is defensive. My army got wiped, dude! Over oh, I can fucking move to you through Savoy if I get no access. I'll fucking go there my fucking self. Trap Crafter's army in Greece as well. He surrendered. That's an extra 10 brigades. Surrender. Aragon sent his transports out of Aragon. He's, he's going to Cote d'Azur, go there. Yeah. Yes! You got him! Poor Ottomans, honestly. Yeah, you got uh, It has to be done. Think about it. Has what to be done. If we don't do it. Aragon separately annexed fucking Papal States in the war. That puts the war goal on us. You don't have to take that seat. Uh, yeah. Mm, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Wait, you Belgium. fucking retard, Spudgun! Justify minor conquest on Ferrara, you fucking dumbass! Oh my god, I need to be doing that. <laughs> why weren't, why so wasn't I now, doing that? He's now referring to himself in the third person. I should have done that months ago. I knew why I was you, missing something. Columbia is actually sieging down Florida with one brigade. Yes. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. He's attacking you in Barcelona, Green Forest. Sorry. I'm gonna add Aleppo mm. for you. You deck on Wallachia for me, for Annex, okay? Surrender. Well, wow. crafter surrender. Oh, baby, a triple! No. Yeah! I'm gonna take Lazio and possibly another region. I'm gonna take a lot. What do you want, Green Forest? I take know? anything. <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, Campania and I Lazio. I wouldn't mind, you know, Catalonia itself, but I assume Spain wants that, so I'm not gonna start. Uh, yeah, I very there. much want Catalonia. Fuck oh, yeah, dude. Good job, by the way. Good shit, hungry. We can technically... Oh no, we can't annex Gran Colombia. If it was possible to annex Gran Colombia for Spain in this war because they surrendered, I would. Yeah, I would, I would forego all Aragonese uh, land to take fucking uh, annex yeah, Gran Colombia. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, we need to spend as much war score as possible anyways on Venice grabbing crap, so... Yeah, I'm taking Lazio and Campania. See how much they cost. Oh, you're gonna take southern Italian states. So yes, yeah. he's fucked. He's he's done. Yeah, that means that Aragon is basically fucked. I would attack uh, Aragon off truce then, but I'm worried about who might join. So there is no truce. I could just deck on him whenever, but uh, I'm worried about who might join. Are you calling in DM to that war kind of set a precedent? If they care, those guys. <laughs> if they care, yeah, I guess we could talk to them. What are they gonna do or take? Um, I mean, like Scandi or Burgundy could join Aragon. Did we get chain war shit in this game? There's technically chain rules because stupid renew rules. Fat guy's in this game. I haven't heard him speak. I want to talk to Fat Guy. Where is he? <laughs> hey, Spudcon. How's your game going, Fat Guy? Spudcon, if you give me Florida, that will piece me out, and then Spain can join. No, Aragon surrendered. Hello, oh. why is this fucking in this channel? Get him out of channel. I wanted to talk to you, flat guy. I just want to see how you're doing. Please get him out of the fuck is Murray and Spud in here? Oh, can you get the fuck out of This is supposed to be the chill chat. Can you get your tryhard asses out of here, you fucking fuck spurs? I'm swimming the end. Oh, anyway, anyway, anyway I'm gonna Croker. Chill me, Aragon so. surrendered, Croker. You're irre irrelevant now. I don't give a fuck. Oh, okay. You know what Croker offered me? He offered me if he separate peace out for Florida, he would leave the war and that you fucking. He was war leader, he couldn't. I know. And plus Aragon surrendered. Right, I'm blockading Aragon to add more goals. Uh, Spambot ruled that uh, after the end of the war, it's six months until I can deck on Aragon, and I got Dempsey and Ben's guarantees that they don't care, so I'm gonna do it. You'll win. Um. Oh my god. Yes, Bohemia's getting fucked, man. Dude, is this the game I take Prague? Might very well be, man. Getting allies to the south was literally your best move, Green for so this is actually a good move for you. Because Bohemia's falling apart, you lost that war. This is your only hope. And your only cope. I get that I lost that war, but I would also argue that Bohemia also didn't exactly, you know... No, I mean, a lot of it was... It was you were literally well, fighting not... both Burgundian and Scandinavian armies while, Bur while Bohemia Bur sieged down three provinces. The only thing I'm seething about is the fact that, like, he forgot to call all these German spearlings in. Yeah, if you're Bohemia and going into a DoD game, you have one job, which is to make sure you can fucking get to DM and help them. That's all you have to think about. Bohemia just got stacked, right? Oh wow, dude. He just lost 50 brigades off that. There's a serious skill issue with this uh, Bohemia. 
So, do you think the Ottomans can win against uh, Albania and Macedonia? He did remob. He's got one brigade. Egypt is also sneaking up the coast. He might need some really international today. support. I was wondering if I could sneak in and take something off of Macedonia and Albania. Are you still at war with Aragon? Adding shit is fucking taking so long. I still what are you adding? Add. Lazio and Campania. Based. Based. Hey, Green Forest, you want to build a factory or two in me? Yeah, I don't even have factories in myself. That, uh, okay, I'm broke. broke. If Aragon has higher goods priority than me and everyone's at peace with defunded armies, he's going to get reinforcement and I'm not. If you play well, you can stack wipe in one battle because he doesn't. he's not going to have much. Ben keeps coming into my room and fucking gloating. He's very enthused. He's really happy that he got carried by Dempsey in one war. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky I still came out ahead of this because I made loads of mistakes in this war. I didn't immediately start justifying on an Aragonese sphereling to take it mid-war. I could have gone into the Papal States completely and beaten Aragon's army, but I stopped moving, being too cautious. I'm glad that it ended up being the way it is because now you owe me one. <laughs> yep. Craft your BTFO. Aragon's position. What could they have done differently? Uh, hmm. Invaded me? They could have invaded me. They couldn't call for and it had a true... No, wait, you didn't call Milan in for a while, so maybe you could have called in. Yeah, true. If he did that, he might have been able to invade you, but other than that, his downfall was dual monarchy. Choir State, Lazio, 11 war score. Look at the Belgian Confederacy. Planet Jenny got no war goals. Oh, what the what? fuck? I didn't join that war. Vinland just... Wait, I thought... Oh, wait, 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 oh, all right. Adding Campania, 50. I can deck six months after your war with him ends. Uh, I'm gonna just be satisfied with this and save my infamy. What are you, uh... Fucking so Italy, guys. It's four over. Times Shut the fuck up and appreciate this fucking Italy. Fuck you all. <laughs> Shut the fuck oh, up. Yeah, fuck you, that's garbage. Screw you. Mar Mark, oh are you trying to fucking say? Wait, wait, wait. Bohemia didn't lose Brandenburg, but they lost Silesia. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. Now I have to play nation building, single player stuff. What's happening in Asia, Lizard, you twat? Oh, I'm annexing everything and the Chinas might fight eventually. Why oh, did I just move to the fucking Asian hug box chat? No, no, give me Hong Kong, Kong, please! Wait, Marksman, can you- Yeah, Marksman, yeah, actually, you? yeah, Macau or War. I'm Macau literally about to deck, hold on. 39 him, 68 you. Heck yeah, I don't know. South I'm America. Let me see if I can justify a CB Dude, war. Dude, joined against me. Um... Meanwhile, in the Americas, while Plantaginia licks its wounds after the first war, the follow-up war between the Belgians, Vinland and Grand Colombia happened. And as you can see, Vinland took four regions winning this war alongside Grand Colombia, who didn't take anything. This puts Vinland way out ahead in the race for Arcadia, and by the way, they do not need certain southern regions to form Arcadia, and that's why Grand Colombia can help them. In fact, for Vinland to form Arcadia, they only need about the northern half of the Belgian Confederacy, and loads of cores stretching along northern Arcadia, even into Chingchu and Japanese Alaska. So perhaps it is possible for Grand Colombia and Vinland to coexist here, although when Vinland does form Arcadia, they get cores down south in Plantaginia. Also, in the very short time span of this episode, there was a huge war in Eastern Europe that spread out to Western Europe as well. It started with a simple Muscovy declaration on PLC, which we all expect, however, it spread out of control. Scandinavia was going to let Poland, Lithuania and Muscovy have a 1v1, however, Bohemia joined this war first on Muscovy's side. So Scandinavia, as well as Burgundy, were about to decline the call to arms from Poland Lithuania, but seeing Bohemia join in this opportunistic move, they were both able to use a defensive call to arms to bypass their truce with Bohemia and get into this war with them. So Bohemia may have had the correct idea here, trying to go after the PLC and build up Muscovy after the defeat in Western Europe, but it has backfired immensely with the execution. Bohemia ends up surrounded on three sides. The war started with the ridiculous battle of Yekaterinoslav, as we remember. But after this off-screen, it seems like Poland-Lithuania gave up on fighting Muscovy and they went to just collapse in on Bohemia with their two allies. Bohemia got absolutely crushed and that makes it his second lost war in two years of in-game time. He avoided losing land in the first war, but not this time. 
Poland-Lithuania gains Silesia, an extremely strong region, as well as Cherson, the colony in Crimea from Muscovy. Scandinavia doesn't take any land in North Germany here. He's already got England to eat with his infamy and it leaves the door open for potential future diplomacy in Germany, actually. In the span of time that Bohemia has lost two major European wars in a row, Bavaria has been quietly eating German nations, both in Burgundy's sphere of influence and Bohemia's, so it seems like he might have the blessing of both of those great powers to form the Danubians. In any case, they are someone to definitely watch out for here. Over in the Ottoman Partition War, Hungary took North and South Serbia and one Syrian region to transfer to Iraq because they couldn't add anything. The AI Macedonia and Albania have occupied most of the Balkans and even AI Egypt is creeping up the coastline there, but the Ottomans should be able to take them down after remobilizing again and trying to build up his brigades. Even in his terrible state, the Ottoman Empire still has a lot of land and a lot of regions. He's not out yet, but with the great Venetian victory over Aragon, maybe I will be able to actually contribute and help next time to take out the Ottomans for good. And that brings us to the conclusion of the Aragon-Venice War. There isn't very much more to say here because everything about this was planned in the last part and it all went according to plan and everything worked and we won. There is one thing though, and that's my attempted separate justification on the Aragonese feeling of Ferrara. It didn't really matter though, because I just cancelled the justification when Aragon surrendered and I didn't lose any infamy from it. Things that Aragon could have done differently in this whole situation is a very interesting question, and I will look at it later, perhaps in more detail than you might expect. For the peace deal, there was absolutely no point pulling any punches. I went for the most crippling land to take from Aragon. His most populous region, Campania, as well as Lazio, the home of Rome itself. Taking Campania just means Aragon has absolutely no chance of putting up any more fighting in southern Italy. He has nowhere to put his armies safely. And it set Spain up very nicely to finish off Aragon, although something different has happened over there. Something has not gone according to plan. Scandinavia has joined the war against Spain, even though Spain thought he had a guarantee that they wouldn't join. Spain's plan was to simply declare war on Aragon to follow up after my war. The Nurse Reno rules prevent something called chain wars, which is when someone has just lost a war, they have a sort of grace period where no one else can declare war on them in a certain period of time. This grace period is usually given as one year, but after the antics of truce blocking in this war, Spamba only made it six months, which is nice. But those six months pass by and Aragon gets some time to build up. Spain declares war and everything goes wrong. Scandinavia has joined Aragon's side. Venice, dual monarchy, we're all blocked out of that war. We can't help. Spain was looking for a simple Iberia 1v1 and we could have ticked that off the bingo card and with Aragon being so crippled and the brigade count being so in Spain's favour it would have been easy and now it's all gone wrong. We will see this war in part 3 of the Venice series. Thank you all so much for watching and bye. That's all for today. Goodbye.